Hey everyone, welcome back to Breadbox Racing in 4x4. Today, we're on 4x4 mode. Or, well, we will be. Once we fix my quad. She broke. She, she broke. She very broke. Yes. So before we actually fix it, we're gonna do stupid stuff. Or, no, I guess we should fix what, it. What do you mean first? We're already doing stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, yes. Because contrary to popular belief, this is not comfortable. <laughs> I didn't know I had that kind of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> There's muscles in spots I didn't know I had them. Yes, something, something. And spots where I didn't know there were muscles. Pretty much, it's all something, something French girl. Wee <laughs> wee. Oh. Oui, oui. <laughs> yes, big it. <laughs> so, what we're the main thing we're fixing today is we're playing with Brad's shaft. Yeah. Settle down. We're in public. <laughs> Are we? Um, yes. Okay. Um, so what's happening is when the temperature drops outside for something in the shifter is preventing my quad from the shifting. We oui. Yes. Um, now, uh, obviously it's not the lever mechanism, which as you probably noticed, we've already undone because we forgot we were supposed to be recording. Yeah. Um, so, so we know it's gotta be in the transmission. And thankfully in Polaris in there, let's call it wisdom for now until it turns out we can't actually get the parts out that we need to get out without tearing the transmission right out of the thing. Yeah. But for now, we're going to call it wisdom. Uh, they've made it, the shifter go through this plate here. So I'm thinking we can pull the plate off and we're probably going to see what the problem is. Cause the only thing I can think of that would cause this thing to lock up the instant it dropped below zero is there's gotta be water somewhere. It's not supposed to be moist. So this is the plate in question here. This is your gear sensor that plugs on the bottom. And this is your shifter input shaft. And we've already taken this off. This just has a little spline on it that it uses to do the, the things with the thing. So we got to pull this off. It looks like there's ten, four 10 millimeter bolts around the corners that we got to pull off. And I'm hoping we don't have to pull the sensor off, but I actually know there's almost no way that sensor is going to have to come off. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Anyways, hmm. wait one minute and we'll be right back with the plate off. So, okay. So we got the cap off. There was a lot of mud in here. I've already kind of blown it out and sprayed it with, out with water. Um, now, so there's two shafts here. There's this guy that sits over here with the pawl on it. If you can. I should have put this in before I did this. Well, don't tell me this thing's fucking sectored. It is. God damn it. There we go. Just spit on it, she'll go. Okay, so that sits in there like that. This guy sits in here. Somehow it's clocked a certain way, I'm sure. Maybe it, with any luck it's sectored as well, but you get the idea. There's a spring sits under here, this locks on here, and that tells you when you're in gear. So we got those out, we got them cleaned. Now we're left with this. So much schmoo. And uh, now we're just gonna keep cleaning up. Stuff. 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 Tube. Stuff. Tube. Tube. Thing. Tube. Wheel. This thing's not too, too bad. Oh, that thing goes great. Well, I mean, the, the whole bike. Oh. I mean, most of it's fine. This wheel's flat, but only on the bottom. Yeah. We need that part. Well, All right. We got the cap off, we got the guts out, and it's time for good news and bad news. The good news is, it will go back together and it... <laughs> and it'll still work when we're done. 
the bad. It's a boy. Expecto Patron. <laughs> <laughs> Expecto this. Yeah. Expecto these nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, so the bad news is, is this. The uh, the selector cam sprocket thing. It's missing a tooth. The good news is is probably I can probably find this somewhere online. Um but there's enough tooth engagement even with the missing one that it will work. We did find the tooth, some in there, and then like a tool, I went like this, boo. We'll never find it again. Not in this shop. <laughs> nope. Well, we're pulling this apart for the last time. But now we at least understand why. So what we're running into is we had no park and no high range. And then we're going, well, what the heck is going on? And every other gear's working perfectly. And so we, we kind of sat and thought about it. And then we're like, well, there's that, uh, the, the center cam plate or uh, detent plate had a range that it could sweep through. And we're running out of range on either end. So suddenly, I think it was Braden came up with the idea. He said, well, put your pick in here and uh, extend the plunger. Suddenly we had park and high range back while we held that plunger out. So we're going, well, why would that be? Well. Do a little bit of Google Foo. Turns out there's actually a spring that's supposed to go from there to the foot brake. So that you have to have your foot on the foot brake to go between reverse and park or high and low. And we think the reason for that is, is to stop you from grenading the transmission. And that the reason you don't need it to go from reverse to low is because neutral's in between them. It's factory idiot proofing. Yeah. So what we're going to do, because we don't have that spring, we're gonna unproof the idiot. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make this very idiot not friendly. We're gonna blow up this transmission. Is what we're gonna do. No. Yeah. I would, no. I would never. I don't believe you. No one believes you. Mr. Spring has gone spring again. Well, we lost the spring, so we're gonna go find it. Yeah. And flip the thing around so we have all gears so, and. We Hopefully you don't blow stuff up. This guy out of here. Look, evidence of an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's me. Yeah, mistakes were made at that point. Yeah. At least it happened here, not way the fuck up there. It's true. That would have been really bad. Well, we slid all the way down here with no brakes. Oh, I believe it. It was terrifying. It's a steep hill. It is. I didn't realize it was this fucking steep. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll come back in spring time to find more pieces of hill. <clears throat> Fucking quads all stance boy in the front. Something like that. Is then being gear helps. The 
with the Canadian Special, the Dodge Grand Caravan. It's an Odyssey. They all look the same. We argued about this last time. I know we did. <laughs> and we all know how it got here. No. You see this big giant fucking field that's over here? Yeah, let's go find it. Hey, look, we found a fort in its natural habitat. In about the right condition, too. Turning up the flat deck on. Yeah. The flat deck is. No, that's a. They cut the box sides off. Yeah, I was going to say, this was a box. Yeah. It's got good box bolts, though. That harmonic balancer can be rebuilt. Probably. Either that or that's the smallest fire ring you've ever seen. <laughs> it's got pulley grooves on it. Yeah, for sure they came out and they were having a pallet fire here. And the pallet fire got spicy. And then this happened. This truck for sure burned. I've seen our burned out carcass over there. It was white at one point. Pardon? It was white at one point. Was it as white as me? Ooh, I shouldn't say that on video. Uh, not quite as white. Oh, yeah. The only part of the truck that didn't burn. And the folded door. Which was cut. It took, was. They took the door skins off. They probably stole it via body panels and burnt it. Cause look, even the steering wheel's gone. Oh yeah. Yeah, look, it was a work truck. There's your CB mount right there. Yeah. So this was definitely stolen. Yep. Looks like the under seat rack is fine though. A little, little crunchy, but it'll be fine probably. They cut the seat frame. Uh, they cut a lot of things. Yeah, they did. Oh well. Let's, Let's go find that one. Oh, look at that. oh yeah. It's been taken off. It's definitely stolen. Yeah. That's probably why they cut stuff. They get all the bins off of it. Yeah, because these have like five or six spots, don't they? Yeah. Is the GoPro recording right now? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. We've got no VIN. We didn't steal it. We got nothing to worry about. It's, it's clearly been here a long time. It's not like the RCMP don't know about it. Yeah, don't do this. This is bad. Shame. It's illegal and it's shameful and it's a shitty thing to do. Shame on you, shame on your family, shame on your cow. Yep, but not your dog. Dogs are too good for us. Yeah, dogs are too good for us. All right, let's go find that one.
All right, let's play. What's the car? V6 Accord Coupe or a Camry? No, Camry didn't come. Camry didn't come. <laughs> oh boy. It's a five bolt coupe. It's got two exhausts, so it's a V6. It's a manual and it's a four cylinder. No, I don't think it's a four cylinder. That's it's got two pipes or two mufflers on it. That's for sure a four cylinder. I don't know. It's got AC. Uh, I only see four pipes. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. And it's not a V8. No, God no. Oh, look at that. GM. I thought that looked familiar. This is a G5. Yep. Well, it could be a Saturn Ion. Uh, it's not a Saturn Ion. It doesn't have the suicide doors. No, this is... the door that's totally a cobalt oh yeah well it could be a g5 they're the same shit that's a split tire. oh no 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 your first instinct was correct i missed the obvious thing here this is a j body you know how i know tell us no uh, <laughs> strut with a coil over spring no j bodies had that the delta bodies had the spring between the um, between the um, swing arm and the body. Gotcha. I, I'm not sure how I missed that. I own yeah. both of those platforms and worked on them a lot. But the one kind of confusing thing is why is there not two mufflers? I've never seen a Sunfire with two mufflers. My, my GT had two. Well, I guess this does have AC, so it probably was AC. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Also, the other thing that should have been a dead giveaway is that is a so this is a late model Sunfire because that is that is an F23 get rag which they didn't get until they got the Ecotec. They still had a get rag in the earlier years, but it was a different series. I know because the the F23s had this end plate on there. It's also the brake pads are pretty low. Yeah. So I followed the tire tracks up thinking it was going to be a walk of shame type deal. Those crazy sons of bitches made it. Now let's go find out what this is. Hopefully without rolling. I think my view's better. Well, I guess now we go uh, straight up and down. Let's do this. Tires aren't flat yet, so that's good. Ow, my knee.
Brayden took one look at that and figured, oh, it doesn't look that bad. We're going to see what happens here. Let's get a little closer. I'm already sinking in. All right, low range. I was recording for that. <laughs> well, let's look at that other one, see if it takes the front dog somewhere. There we go. Let's play with this car. Oh, it's front engine, rear wheel drive. It's green with green interior. I'm saying it's a 70s Dodge. Yeah, I'm thinking you're right. It could be getting into the early, early 80s, though, because of the bumper. Yeah, late 70s, early 80s, stressed by the steering. You know what? I'm just going to go with the steering wheel. Because that, that steering wheel there looks like an automobile. Oh, thorn bushes. Okay, I still got an in, mostly intact tail light. Be able to oh, coming in here is a mistake. I have so many thorns. Yeah. Ow! That one got me in the nuts. Oh, that'll learn you. Will it? Hopefully. Well. Yeah, I really want to see something on the wheel. It's got no steering wheel logo. Doorknobs down by the foot, like here. Well, I guess the, uh, look at how low those rear seats are. It's not a K car, it's older than that. Yeah. It has been used for the obligatory target practice. Of course it has. You know what part of town we're in. As if any other part of town's different. That's, that's that house. I almost want to say it's a Monte Carlo. I don't know if Monty's came for them. I really don't think Monty's came for them. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't know. That's Grand Prix, maybe? Man, that steering wheel still steers both of you over here. Well, it does. Ah. Yeah, I don't touch that brush. Those have got spicy thorns. Yeah, I ran into it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had one other thought. Crown Vic? Maybe the comb trims over here is in a bit better. I don't, I don't think Crown Vic's ever came in green. Huh? I don't think the Crown Vic's ever came in green. This looks... It looks like a Mopar green, because it's green on green on green, but it could be GM. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, here's a hint. Seatbelt mount is halfway up the rear door at the top. still in it. Oh, that's surprising. Oh. Is that a J or an F? Looks like an F. Maybe this is a Ford. That looks like an old Ford F. Maybe it is a Ford. I don't know, let's ask it. What are you? Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. I just can't think of any GM car that's ever had strut towers like that. Yeah, it must be like Ford, because judging by that bin, it's got fancy F front and back. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Ford F. I'm back to Crown Vic. I think the main question is how to get here. I mean, it's been here for a hundred years. Oh yeah, for sure. Most of these trees didn't exist. Oh, there's some fossil debris. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, it probably just looks like a bench seat. It, it's just a bench seat. Same. It's a good scale though. That's a trailer hitch. I bet you this was a rumble seat. Maybe. Or something homemade that looks plasma cut. It could be. Well, it, rumble seat that's homemade, maybe. Yeah, but it's also a hard Maybe it was like that. Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Could be. Huh? GoPro, stop recording. I can't believe I made it up that. Yeah, about time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I made it. Barely. Finally. Yeah. Low range and basically fun times. Yep. I need to get weight on the front tires to actually make it. Stop taking your racks off. <laughs> That thing did just fine. Yeah. In this heavier wet snow, those tires kick ass. Yeah. Let's find a shower in the woods. Yeah. There's a shower. There it is. <laughs>